So with this coronavirus and everything out there going around right now, probably a lot of people are thinking that they want to maybe become a little bit more self-sufficient. That's something that we've been working on for a while that we've wanted to do. And with the coronavirus, it's just made it all the more and shown how more important it is to us. So my wife has wanted to create some raised garden beds and I wanted to make them out of cedar. But if you've ever priced cedar uh, for building anything, it's really expensive. And if you wanted to, like originally I, I priced this out getting some one by cedar at the local hardware store. And for like a 12, uh, say a, a one by six by 12 uh, approximately is about $35, $37. And after figuring that up, I decided that was just way too expensive, but I didn't want to build this out of pressure treated uh, pine just because I didn't want those chemicals. I didn't want to deal with the plastic bag and then the plastic bag rips. So what I came up with was using these, and I'm, I mean, I didn't come up with this. Somebody else has come up with this. I'm sure it's been done thousands of times. But what I found for myself was using these cedar fence pickets. These cost about three bucks a piece, and they're five and a half inches by just under, well, they are, they're six foot. They call them five and a half foot, but they're 72 inches. And the top inch is dog-eared, so I just cut that off on that end. So I've got five and a half inches by five foot. I'm gonna build three of these cedar beds that are raised, and I'm gonna stack, you'll see how I do it. I'm gonna stack these up and two high. And for my legs, another way I saved money was these aren't cedar. These are four by fours that are not pressure treated and these are fur. And fur should hold up decently outside. I know that these aren't gonna last as long as the cedar would have, but for the cost savings, it's just huge. These, I got two legs and I'm, I'm gonna make these 36 inches tall. And there's about 11 bucks for these four by fours. Now I can get two legs out of each four by four at 36 inches. But I went with 32 inches, which was my original plan. I could have got three out of each one. I could have saved even more money, but my wife said she wanted these 36 instead of 32. So uh, what can I do? I gotta make sure she's happy. Anytime you're cutting a bunch of pieces like this and you're not using a stop board, you need to try to make sure that you use the same board. I may not have a couple times, but you always want to make sure that you try to use the same board every time because if you use a different, if you use the next board every time you try to mark with it, you'll get slightly off and slightly off. The other thing is when you mark it, make sure you cut on the right side of the line because I drew that right there. If I cut on this side of the line, or if I split that line, this is not gonna be the same. I want that line to disappear after my cut. See how there's no line there? So I'm gonna use these decking screws. You don't wanna use like a regular drywall screw or anything like that, cause that'll just rust and fall apart. I'm gonna pre-drill these. I don't know if that's really necessary or not, but I'm gonna start out doing that. This wood is so soft. It's probably not necessary, but I don't wanna split it.
I'm actually going to change this bit out. I'm going to use a countersink bit. I kind of think I maybe should have been using that all along. This is just wanting to, I just get a feeling like it's wanting to split just a little bit when that screw head drops in there a little bit. What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? You're not supposed to be out here. So for the bottom of these planters, I'm gonna use these rolls. I've got three rolls of two foot by five foot hardware cloth. And this is the quarter inch square pieces and it's 23 gauge. So this is, it's almost like it was made for this, two foot by five foot, it worked out perfect. And I'm gonna staple this to the bottom and then I'm gonna put some um, pieces of wood over that to help support it. for gloves so one thing I'm seeing here that's a little bit of a pain is that my box is not exactly two foot it is in fact 23 and 15 16 see what this cloth is. I probably should have measured the cloth if I'd have had a brain whenever I started this. I should have measured the cloth first and made sure I was a little bit wider than it since it is in fact 24 and a 16th. So I'm an eighth inch. So I'm an eighth inch over. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> so I don't know. I may have to take the snips and cut one row off on the on the side. So Why? Why? It's actually kind of hard to describe what a real pain this really is. Maybe I'll edit it to where it's not a pain, to where it just looks easy. I'm using type bond two on here. Type bond three would probably be better, but this will work. This is the only thing I'm gluing on here, as you can tell, just because if I want to take it apart, I want to be able to take it apart. This will just help strengthen these sides up since this is only, these, these sides are only 5 eighths. So here are the three beds complete. Uh, I did have an easier time with the hardware cloth on the next two. Let me know your thoughts on these. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video.